Yo guys, it's me DarkYTX once again and today I'm going to show you how to get the definitive Sonic 06 and Sonic P06 experience. Without further delay, let's start the video. Make sure that your PC meets the requirements of the Xenia emulator. All other specs about the Xenia emulator like the minimum requirements to get Xenia running are linked in the description below. Once you've read all the requirement files and your PC meets the expectations, then download the Canary version of the Xenia emulator. Create a backup folder for the Xenia emulator and put it inside there, in case the Xenia emulator that you downloaded gets corrupted or something. Extract the Xenia emulator and open the folder. Once you've done that, create a folder named portable.txt. Once you've done that, run the Xenia Canary emulator and close it again. As you can see, a tumble file has been created. Right click that tumble file and go to open with and select the notepad. From there, scroll to the display section and change the full screen from false to true. Once you scroll down and found it, then save the tumble file by pressing Ctrl and S, then you can close the tumble file. Download the Sonic 06 JTAG slash RGH ROM file. These are three parts on this website, so download all three of them. Each part contains the Sonic story, the Shadow story, and the Silver story. Once you've downloaded all of them, extract them combined, which is gonna take some time depending on the speed on your PC. Once you've done that, put the 06 ROM in the safe place. You can create a folder or bring it somewhere you can manually find it again. Download the Sonic 06 mod loader for the Xbox 360 slash PS3 and put it inside your Xenia folder. Also, make sure that you have a mods folder inside the your Xenia emulator folder. If not, create a mods folder where you can put your mods inside. You can call it whatever you like. I just realized I forgot to include this in when you start the application of the Sonic 06 mod loader. The mod loader will ask you where Xenia is installed. You gotta locate that and also it's gonna ask where your game ROM is installed. So do this. I'm just saying this just to let you all know. Run Sonic 06 for the first time. Create a mods folder for Sonic 06 and name it whatever you like to. From here I would recommend using the Vulkan render for a better performance. Make sure to copy all the tweaks that I'm using. You can take your time and stop the video if you like to. And also copy the exact mod order list that I'm using or else the game will crash. Download the Sonic PO6 application and extract it. Then open the folder and run the game. Inside the Sonic PO6 folder, go to the view icon and select the hidden icons or the hidden folders like whatever it's called to see all the hidden items. We're going to need this later. Download the Sonic PO6 mod loader and extract it. Then open the folder and copy all the files inside the Sonic the Hedgehog data folder inside your Sonic PO6 folder. Download the Sonic 06 extended mod. Extract the WinRAR file and put the files inside this location. Extract the reshape preset which is linked in the description below and put it inside your Sonic PLC folder. 
open the WeChat application and click on browse and search for the Sonic PO6 application and select it. Select the DirectX 11 slash DirectX 12 option. Then click on browse and search for the Sonic PO6 preset and uncheck it, then check it again. If you are done, then close the WeChat application and open Sonic PO6 again. From there, let the WeChat preset load and if it's loaded, then close the game again. Open the reshape in with notepad. Then change the key overlay number from 36 to 113 to get the home button to F2. If you're done, then save the reshape in the preset. And from here, you can customize the reshape preset by pressing on F2 and enabling all the options you need. With everything done, here's where I end the video. That's it with the video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Check out my main channel and check out my Tiggity Talk and the Discord server, which is linked in the description. Yeah, that's it. So, see you soon. Yeah.